morning, good afternoon, good night. I am Black Bride broadcasting out of the UK into your homes around the world. Welcome to my channel and thank you for stopping by and for my returning subscribers. Just to let you know that I appreciate you and I wanted to start off with my little story, a little personal story before I go into this thing about Pretty Patel. Okay, yesterday I had a molar removed extracted from my tooth so my face is a bit swollen as you will see anyway I went to the dentist and I was quite scared anyway anyway I arrive at the dentist and she's telling me oh well I've got to let you know that if the tooth cracks or if the roots split or it might get stuck in or we might get, have to dig it out and I tell you my eyes was welling up I was so scared and it was almost like I started trembling then she said Oh, maybe I shouldn't have given you so much information. And um, do you? I can refer you um, to someone else to put you to sleep. But I can reassure you that other people go through this process. I mean, dentists aren't the best of places that anybody wants to go. And having a molar. Any time I told somebody I'm having a molar removed, they were like, "Oh my God!" You know. So that didn't help. Anyway, um, it took her over half an hour to get rid of this molar. So as you can see, my mouth is swollen. I was in a terrible state yesterday in the sense that my whole of my side of my face ached. But I got through it. I didn't ask to be referred. I had it removed under local anaesthetic. And I'm here to tell you the tale. Well, let's get back to Pretty Patel. Senior um, official. Um, senior, what's his name? Philip Ruckman, most senior civil servant, has resigned due to allegations of bullying and unreasonable behaviour by Priti Patel. Now, this is where I believe the proverbial sh hits the fan, because now I believe that Priti Patel may, just may, get a taste of her own medicine. Because at the moment, she's on 45000 a year for 20 hours per month. Do you work that out? Per hour? I'll leave you to do this maths. £45,000 a year for 20 hours work a month. And it looks like she just goes around bullying. This is the first government job she's had that she's been convicted, not convicted, accused of bullying. The last one in 2015, one of the persons she was bullying actually tried to kill herself. Took an overdose and they had to pay her about 25 grand. And you'll find that in governments, it usually happens like that. It's called corporate bullying. In this, in Philip Ruttman's case, he called it constructive dismissal because um, Priti Patel made the environment, the working environment, so hostile that it was forcing people to resign and it forced him to resign because instead of trying to follow the rules which are written down she it looks like she wanted him to adjust the rules and so when he kind of stuck it out that's when the bullying started and at one point she even said the whole of them are effing useless but didn't even say the effing word said the proper word so, you know, this is a woman, look how elegant she looks, look how beautiful she looks on the surface. And yet she's got a mouth like a sewer. Apparently she's got a hot head. She's not a very pleasant person at all. But then again, if she was pleasant, would she be in the job? If she had a, a squeaky clean history, would she have got the role? No. To me, it looks like the more challenging your history the more horrific your history, the more eligible you are for the job. They don't want anybody squeaky clean because they've all got mud on their boots. So they don't want anybody who's um, d d who plays by the rules. What is the point of employing people who play by the rules? This is not the point of government. The point of government is to get the job done regardless of the rules. That is the purpose of government. The rules are there. And as we know, I think it was in, which, what document was it? 
There's a document. Oh, yeah. Boris Johnson in August 2019, issue of the of official ministerial code, said that there must be no bullying or no harassment. Bullying will not be tolerated. And yet, yeah, next minute, he's standing by Pretty Patel saying she's an outstanding Home Secretary. So they have the words, and like I said in a previous vid um, video, they have all the words to make it all look nice, but the actions have bear no resemblance to policy, bears no resemblance to the rules. They're just words. They're just words to say something has been documented. They can use those words for who they deem it appropriate. Not for the top people. It doesn't apply to them. But the little people, if they don't abide by the rules, and they, they're the ones that get into trouble, not the people at the top. So, she has not been suspended, and she's unlikely to, unless she takes the rep unless there's something so, so bad that's going to taint the reputation of the Prime Minister, and I doubt it, because they know what she's like, that's why they gave her the job. And the poor people, I feel sorry for the poor people left behind. Because anybody who whistled blue or who challenged her or, you know, who sided with Sir Philip Rutman, they probably lost their jobs. They're probably going to be leaving. They probably already left. They probably already submitted their resignation. But that is still a form of constructive dismissal. They don't really want to leave. So I'm sure the majority can't even afford to leave. But apparently she's belittling um, the, her support. Well, I don't like the word subordinates, but she's belittling the, um, the support staff and even the senior officials. And I think she thinks that because she's in that job, she could just go around talking to anybody how she likes. And this is why I'm saying she's going to get a taste of her own medicine, because it's as times like this that someone like Sir Philip Rutman will say, who the hell do you think you are? Bloody immigrant. How dare you speak to me like that? How dare you treat me that in this way? How dare you force me to design? You're just a child of an immigrant. The audacity of someone like you speaking to me in this way. And this is when she's going to feel it. But the thing is, if she's got the backing of the Prime Minister, how much, how much weight will Philip Rutman have? I don't know where they're kind of digging, trying to dig out all the dirt from goodness knows all the last three governments. But to be honest, you know, they know what she's like. So are they really going to do anything about it? I don't think so. She's perfect for the job. You go in there, get the job done. Don't talk back. Just do as I say, not do as I do. Just do as I say. In a lot of government... Um, institutions they do not want you to use your initiative they do not want you to ask questions not all i have to put that disclaimer in there but a lot of them they do not want you to use your initiative they do not want you to point out any errors they do not want you to unless of course it's going to come out but a lot of them you know it's just like this you just do as you're told don't ask questions just obey and if you dare challenge or say, but the policy said, I have told you to follow my instructions. Don't you dare question my instructions. And so these people are there. Some of them, they need the job. A lot, I mean, not some of them, we all need a job. And so they have to follow it. It then starts going against their morals. It then starts going against their principles. They then start feeling uncomfortable. They're then afraid to talk. They then build an unhappy um, working team. But who cares? They want the job done. That's all it's about. Getting the job done. So what else have I got here? I think that's all really. What more is there to say? We'll have to watch this space. It'll be interesting to see um, how powerful Sir Philip Rutman is. I hope he's powerful enough. That's all I've got to say. Bye-bye.